I'm Pete Ferryman for Parents TV, and today we are at the dentist office, a place a lot of parents try to avoid. In fact, their kids try to avoid it too. But getting your kids to go to the dentist doesn't have to be like pulling teeth. Pardon the pun. Today we are with Dr. Brandon Schwint, a pediatric dentist, and Dr. Brandon, as we like to call you, how old does our kid have to be before we go to the dentist? Well, historically it used to be three years of age, uh, but we realized that we could prevent a lot of problems if children came in prior to that. So now the recommended age is one, or within six months of the first uh, tooth erupting. So if your child has a tooth, it's time to go to the dentist, right? That's right, just to prevent any problems that may happen later. What should we do if our child has tooth pain? If they have tooth discomfort, depending on the age, it could be just a tooth coming in or it could be more serious, like a cavity. And uh, a call to the dentist uh, would be the best way to go. Okay, are there any things that we can do at home? Sure. If your child's really young, say six months to two years of age, the likelihood is just teething pain. And what a lot of, uh, sorry, what a lot of people can do is uh, place a washcloth or a paper towel over the, over the gum area and put Oragel or some of... Um, topical anesthetics that you get at the, at the pharmacy to decrease that discomfort. Also Motrin and Advil do a good job as well for the young children. Got it. What about salt water, warm salt water? That's a real good uh, uh, therapy for uh, adults who are having gum problems. Salt water can be uh, problematic for children though because they like to swallow anything that goes in their mouth. Mm -hmm. It can cause a tummy ache and be more problems than it's worth. What is baby bottle mouth? I've heard a lot about that. That, uh, another term for that is early childhood caries or cavities in young children. And uh, what it is is when children, any child has a cavity below the age of three is termed baby bottle mouth or early childhood cavities. And it's a really destructive disease that affects a lot of children uh, and limits their ability to eat and develop not normally. Some people may think, well, they're just baby teeth. They're going to fall out anyway. We don't have to take care of them as much as other teeth. Is that's, that, that's not a smart way to think about it, right? Shouldn't be, no. Uh, baby teeth are all going to fall out. All 20 of them are going to be not in the mouth at age 11 or 12 for most people. However, baby teeth can get the same cavities, unfortunately, the same pain or even infection that an adult tooth can have. So we need to take care of those just as much as permanent teeth. It's really about creating good habits at an early age, right? That's right. So if your routine is to have good habits, then the routine then will be health in the long run. So for instance, if you come in to, at age five or six and you have a cavity, your first experience at the dentist is going to be, he's going to put a shot in your mouth and it's going to be painful and be no fun. However, if you come earlier for a lot of prevention visits, then the, you know you're going to get a prize, it's going to be fun, you're going to watch a movie and everything will be great. And that's what we want to have as an experience. Okay, Katie, have a seat. <clears throat> Do you feeling good? Yeah? I've noticed that you know all the tricks of the trade as far as keeping kids happy during a dental exam, right? That's right. And the first part about it is to get them to trust yeah, you. Yeah. And so if I jump in and just go for the mouth, that's going to put them at, in defensive. If I start with just talking to them or counting their fingers or talking about their Halloween costume, it puts them at ease. And then we slowly inch towards looking at their teeth and counting their teeth, as we say. You look up at the movie for me? I'm just going to put this light. And this place is, is unlike a lot of dental offices that adults may be familiar with. I mean, you've got movies, you've got games. And really it's just to see from the child's perspective that it's more about fun and more about the experience than, than getting po poked and prodded. And that's what we want to have as an experience because a child's going to grow up going to the dentist every six months for the rest of their lives, hopefully. We want to continue that good habits. I've noticed a lot of things here that would keep kids entertained. You've got games, you've got movies. They didn't really have that when I was a kid so much. Is that a new trend we're seeing in pediatric dentistry? It definitely is. We first used to just think that cleaning your teeth and going out the door, that was it. But what we found is if you put a movie on the ceiling or a prize at the end, that's what kids really remember. In fact, I started talking to adults and I said, what do you remember about the dentist when you were a kid? And they said, oh, that little, that little token I received, the little prize I received at the end. This is 20 years later, so this is how we're, the trend is going. What about fluoride? Fluoride can be very controversial. Your thoughts? Certainly is, especially in this part of the country. Oregon is the 48th least fluoridated state in the country. And there are some people who have concerns about fluoride's uh, safety and their effects. But overwhelming majority of scientists and research shows that fluoride is very beneficial. In fact, one of the most beneficial public health measures that we've seen in the last hundred years. What fluoride does is how it affects the teeth is that when fluoride touches the tooth, it makes it more resistant to acid, which is how cavities get started. So if children are exposed to fluoride in the proper doses, it can reduce their risk of a cavity by 40 or 50 percent. What if your child's teeth start coming in and they're crooked or there's a space between them? Is it time to panic or do anything? 
shouldn't panic, no, but there's definitely some developmental processes that occur as a child ages, both in the baby tooth and early permanent tooth stages. So if a tooth comes in and it doesn't look quite right, be sure and ask your dentist. But a lot of times things shift around as a child ages and things work out just fine. Let's talk about what our kids eat. What is a healthy tooth diet? A healthy tooth diet is a lots of what we call nutrient-dense foods, uh, protein, carbohydrates, even sugars here and there are okay. What the biggest culprit for childhood cavities are are things like juice and chocolate milk. Anything in sugar in liquid form basically. So if your child has some juice or chocolate cake once in a while, not a big deal. But the children who carry that sippy cup underneath their elbow all day long, those are the kids that are really prone to cavities. So the pediatricians recommend no more than one half cup of juice per day at maximum, whether it's diluted or otherwise. The bottom line is parents should always feel comfortable about going to their child's dentist and be sure and ask questions if you have any. So there you have it. Getting your kids to come to the dentist doesn't have to be a painful experience. In fact, you might find they even look forward to it. For Parents TV, I'm Pete Ferryman. Thank you for watching Parents TV. Our families, our lives.